guys, Thunder E here, and uh, we're taking a look at the PlayStation 5 menu and UI system. So here's what we have on the PS5, all brand new. I'm on my LG CX 40 inch OLED connected. And uh, first thing you see is the top row right here that has starts off with the PlayStation Store, then moves over to the photo mode, and then list of the games you played recently. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Demon's Soul, God of War, and so on and so forth. Those are the games I, I have in the system. Uh, Astro Playroom, which is already installed on the system for you. Then you have PlayStation Plus, uh, the PlayStation, and then PlayStation Now, PlayStation Now, and then of course your games library. Now in your games library, showcases cases the games you have installed and all the games you've played in general. So these are the games I've had in here now you can toggle with your uh, R1 button and it shows you the games that are installed in your system you also have the media gallery here and the remote play functionality PlayStation Plus if you have PlayStation Plus and then PlayStation Now where you can go in and download certain games to play so I can download Biohazard if I want to because I have PlayStation Now I can stream it as well and uh, I can just search for more games so heading back to the main menu here, going to the PlayStation Store, it's a bit different. You don't have to jump in and hit the button. You can actually just scroll down. It shows you must see. This, there's a linear tab. Um, you also have what's hot, basically what's new uh, you can get on your PlayStation 5. Coming suit section, uh, Horizon Forbidden West. We've got Deathloop, which I'm waiting for. Then there's a featured section for whatever's featured, then expanding your game. So DLC content for the games that you like to play. You can actually get it right here. And then it's got a Seymour section for PS5 games, PS4 games, free to play. So even though you just got the PlayStation 5, there's still a lot of free to play games you can pick up and just download right here. And then of course, PS Now, which I showed earlier, which you can go in, stream games, download games from right here. So simple and straightforward. Now, if you go into a game of choice, so you can jump in and play like Spider-Man Miles Morales. You can see activities, basically what you've uh, unlocked, official news on the game, trending broadcasts of people who are streaming or posted content on the game, be it in your, your friends list or otherwise. So this is for every single game that you've actually installed in your system. So that's uh, pretty cool. Now, if we go into the search option, you can search for games uh, that you have. There are also games in the store. You can search for media as well. Uh, and you can also search for players. So uh, nice, simple options. You've got your settings menu. Very similar to the PlayStation 4. So it's something you're used to, you can see all the different settings options. I can show you the storage, size 667 gigabytes. I've used 300 and something, so I've got 396 left. Expandable storage, which you can use for your USB drive for your PS4 games. PS5 games would be through the uh, expanded bay, uh, M.2 PCIe 4, but that's not available yet. Then one more thing I want to show you, screen and video. Change your video output automatic. You can switch to 4K transfer rate. HDR is automatic for me here. You can adjust HDR com composition. Uh, and then you can go to screen adjust display, things like that. Then finally, of course, your profile. You can log in, change your status, check out your trophies, and switch users. Now, as you guys saw in the top corner, Top left hand corner, there's the games in the media section. Uh, you can easily enter that by just going up or down, to toggling left or right, and hitting the X button. And then this shows you all the media apps that you have on your PlayStation 5. So there's the TV and video section, then there are all the different apps. I haven't signed into anything yet, but uh, I've got Netflix, Disney Plus, Peacock, YouTube, uh, Prime Video, Hulu, and then you can go to the app see what you have installed here if you have more applications 
Now, of course, you can search for apps as well, but right here, it shows you the different content, different apps you can pick from, Voodoo, all that fun stuff. So if you're looking for applications, they've kind of separated the entertainment section into one media uh, tab, and then you've got your games in another tab, giving you that very clear separation between both of them. Now, if you jump into a game, so we play some Miles Morales, we go back to where we were. And uh, you've also got that share functionality. So I can go ahead and record. But before that, I can actually check out my broadcast signal, where I want to share that to either Twitch or YouTube, once I link them. My capture options shows I can capture in HDR. I can change the resolution to 1080p or 4K. Turn on my mic if I want to. So basically it's using the mic off my controller and I can include party audio if I'm playing with a group of friends. Then you can capture a video, take a screenshot or see if the last, last recording. Here you can share a clip. So for instance, I can go ahead and share it directly to YouTube or Twitch. I can create a party to share it to or I can just share it to friends directly. You can also go ahead and customize that, edit that clip. You can like it, give in your favorites, you can just delete it. It's a very seamless option here. So I can go in, edit this clip if I want to, do a couple of things to it. You get the idea. But it's seamless to basically capture content and share while gaming um, on the PS, uh, PS5. So if you hit your PlayStation uh, logo button, it brings up this option here, it shows you uh, your achievements, things you've done, official news. You can jump down, you can go home, you can switch, which makes you switch to a different game. You've got your notifications, your game base, it shows you your recent parties, music, sound. You can change the controller speaker sound, output, music, as well as video. Your microphone, of course, change the inputs as well. Your mic levels, your accessories, basically a battery indicator. Again, this controller charges via USB Type C or dock. And then you can basically switch out your profiles as well. You can log out and you can power up your system if you want to. So, pretty simple and pretty easy. So, that is the PlayStation UI and the PlayStation 5. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you want to see more PlayStation 5 content, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification icon, and always enjoy entertainment.